Hey, what's up guys, I'm Nuvi, and today I'm going to be talking about how teams should need to watch out for the San Antonio Spurs, especially because of this season that they're having right now, especially due to the circumstances also. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to be talking about why they need to watch out for them. So without further ado, without me rambling on too much, let's get right into this video. So right now, let's just get into what they have done this season so far. So as of right now, they are the fourth seed in the Western Conference, the Harvard Conference out of all of them first year. And they are also one win away from being the third seed with a 9-6 and six start. And this is all without Kawhi Leonard, their best player. That's, I mean... To be the four seed in the Western Conference, you'd think, oh, you need this outstanding lineup. You need this great player, especially with the new super teams that they've added in the Western Conference. But no, they just have a pretty good team without their best player, who's an MVP candidate, a huge part of their season. And then also this season, they were ranked number one in defense and number ninth in offense, which isn't anything new to the Spurs because they're always good on defense and they're always pretty good on offense just because of Popovich. But when you think about it, their highest and best defensive player, debatably the best defensive player of this century, is not in their lineup right now. And Kawhi Leonard. He was a two-time defensive player of the year, and he also helps a ton out with offense. So the fact that they're ranked this high with offense and defense is amazing. Because look at the stats that Kawhi Leonard put up last year. He had 16.4 points per game, 1.8 steals per game, almost two steals per game. That's almost unheard of. 3.5 assists per game and 5.8 rebounds per game. So, like, without him scoring the ball like he was last year, that's still... Um, a huge blow to their offense for them still to be ranked in the top 10 in offense is extremely good but also like I said he averaged 1.8 steals per game and he also averaged like one block per game I mean to be first in defense still that's just good coaching and good playing all around and discipline I mean that's pretty much why they're so good but now the second reason that I have is their veterans and their depth. So right now they have a great veterans in Manu Ginobili, Tony Parker, and Paul Gasol and also Rudy Gay three of those four are potentially future hall of famers but also they have great depth because like if you look at it look at all the starters they have four out of five of their st starters are when healthy average 10 points per game when they're healthy average 10 points per game but also when you do look at their bench like that they would start on pretty much any other team like they have Patty Mills, a great solid point guard. They would probably start on a lot of teams and teams that need him. So I mean, he's pretty good. Then you also have Kyle Anderson, a great shooter who I mean, Popovich pretty much brought up. No one even heard of him, and Popovich just kind of brought up Kyle Anderson. But he's a really good shooter. And then you also have Rudy Gay. So I mean, that's extremely uh, like unheard of. And like Rudy Gay on the bench, what? I mean. Come on, Rudy Gay is a good player, and he played for Sacramento Kings, and dude was averaging tons of points, but now he's coming off the bench. He's so much better and so much more well-rested. He's like a completely new player, especially with the coaching of Greg Popovich. But then also, they have little Marcus Aldridge, who right now, he's had bad seasons before, but now he is pretty much carrying this team. This dude is averaging 22 points per game, 1.3 blocks per game, 2.4 assists per game, and 8.3 rebounds per game, which is almost double what he had last year. And the reason I think this is actually happening is because in the pre, in the like a little bit before the preseason, he went to Greg Popovich and he said, "I either want to be traded or I like I just want help playing here." And because he wanted to play there, but he couldn't really like play that good. Because when he was playing in Portland, he was putting up all star n numbers, but then he kind of slowed down in San Antonio. But I'm pretty sure Popovich can work out a system for Lamarcus Aldridge. And what happened? He did, and now he's going back to his Portland Trailblazer days. And they need him to do that because if they can have Kawhi Leonard, pretty much a Hall of Famer, like Hall of Fame bound player, and then. LaMarcus Aldridge, an all-star player, I think this team could compete with the Golden State Warriors. They almost competed with them in game one last year until Kawhi got hurt. But now my fourth and final reason is going to be Greg Popovich, one of the best coaches to ever live. No doubt about it. The dude's a beast of a coach, and he can make any old player or unheard of player into a really good player. And so far this year, they have managed to beat teams like Minnesota, Toronto, and LA. And they also started off 4-0 and with all their best player that is extremely good and then if you look at five out of their six losses this season 
they were to a pretty much a shocking Orlando team that's actually started off really, really good. And then you also have Boston Celtics, who are the number one team in the East right now, better than the Cleveland Cavaliers, and they are on a 13-game winning streak, and they pretty much beat the Golden State Warriors, and that's, I mean, that's the best team in the league right now, the Golden State Warriors, and they beat them. Like, not bad, but they did end up beating them. Then also, they lost to Golden State, the best team in the NBA as of right now. And then also, the Milwaukee Bucks, after they had got Eric Bledsoe, and the Milwaukee Bucks still have not managed to lose since they acquired Eric Bledsoe. And also, lastly, they lost to the T-Wolves, who are the new super team in the league who has Jimmy Butler, Carlton Towns, and Andrew Wiggins. And they probably could have won way more of those games if they would have just had Kawhi Leonard. So the fact that those losses are coming off of an extremely hard schedule so far, and the wins are also from an extremely hard schedule so far, that says a lot about Greg Popovich and how good he can actually coach. But now before I end off this video, let's just recap what I said so far. So, like, like right now, they are the fourth seed in, in the Western Conference, the Harder Conference, and also they have their one away win from the they're one winning away from the third seed with a nine and six record right now without Kawhi Leonard. And also this season they're ranked first in defense and ninth in offense, like I just said, without Kawhi Leonard. But then also they have great veterans and great depth with pretty much Manu Ginobili, Paul Gasol, and Tony Parker, all future Hall of Famers. And they also added a pretty good player, former All Star Rudy Gay. But also they have great depth as their starters are pretty much all besides one when they're healthy average over 10 points per game and also their bench have players that would start on any other team and then the last one I mean my third one is going to be LaMarcus Aldridge who is dude is carrying the team pretty much he's having a breakout year right now and he's pretty much a contender for most improved player of the year and then also Greg Popovich he's like one of the best coaches to ever live I think there's no denying that and the dude is like lost to only like super teams pretty much besides one they did lose an embarrassing game to some bad team I forgot who it was but then they also have um beaten great super teams and just decent teams all around so I mean you can't really blame them for that so yeah guys that's going to be it for this video unfortunately but if you did like the video at any point hit the like button if you really really like the video and want me today hit the subscri subscribe button it would mean the world to me and also if you didn't like the video just leave it on the dislike button that'd be that'd be mean but if you want more videos like this, comment below. And just comment below if you agree with me that the teams should watch out for the Spurs and they're still good. And once Kawhi comes back, just tell me what you think is going to happen once he comes back. Do you think they're going to get better? Do you think they're going to get worse? I think they're obviously going to get better. So, yeah. But, kids, I don't think they've grabbed you either. Remember, never do your vegetables. Always eat your drugs. Stay safe. Racy bow. Goodbye.